What's up everybody? Josh Armijo here. I hope everybody's doing good and well and stuff. I got an Arsenal inventory update to do for you guys. Uh, vinyl and cassettes this time. And I'm going to be doing a label showcase video for a record label slash metal distro based out of Canada called Von Frost Records. Uh, this is a label that I've touched base on a few times over the years on this channel. Uh, most notably, they put out a re-release of the the debut full length from Goat Holocaust called Satan Jug End. I did a video dedicated specifically to that tape. And um, this label has been on a tear as of lately when it comes to how they go about with their releases, with the bands they put out, the quality and presentation of their releases. Uh, very professional grade sort of stuff and that's something I admire and respect about this label. There are a lot of metal distros and labels going around that really hype themselves up and present themselves up a lot. But this is one of the smaller labels that definitely deserves your attention and support. And I'm going to be talking to you about six different releases that this label has recently put out. Uh, three tapes and three records to be specific. I'm going to start with the tapes and uh, this first one is quite an intriguing listen. Uh, this is Raw Violence with the Going to Hell EP. I don't know if this is an EP or a demo, but either which way. Uh, yeah, this is um, this this project's based out of Halifax, Nova Scotia, and pretty much this is a metal and punk hybrid, as only metal and punk hybrids know how to do things. I really like what this release goes for. I like the multi-vocal. Uh, attacks being presented with this release. I like how dirty the riffs sound. I like how audible and clear the bass is. I mean, there's obviously a lot of influences being represented on with this band. I mean, if you think of stuff like maybe Venom or maybe even Midnight or um, there's just a lot of influences from the realms of metal and punk and they're very well exhibited here with this release. I mean, tracks like, I mean, it's a relatively short release, but there's a lot going on that that garners your attention and makes you want to listen to it. Um, yeah, Cruel Fate, Fucked in the Head, uh, Genocide, just some really solid tracks here. But yeah, once again you have the cover here, Spine, back with the track listings, Von Frost logo. Comes on a white pro tape. I believe the program repeats on both sides as I don't see anything on the B side, so yeah. Um, and you have a nice little inlay card. You have the band members, it's a trio. Uh, this is a hand-numbered release. This is number 54 out of 83. And you got lyrics and stuff on this other opposite side of the J-card. Very professionally done here, and I like the way this turns out and looks. So, If you're into metal with some punk elements, check out Raw Violence. I think this is some very entertaining stuff. Next we've got some Black Thrash up in, your, up in the house. This is Pagan Fire with Ang Susupil, Ang Kikatil. I apologize if I said that wrong, but yeah, I did the best I could. But uh, anyway, these guys are based out of the Philippines, and these guys have been putting out a lot of material throughout the, the early to late 2000s. Lots of demos, lots of splits, lots of live material. This band just really believes in staying active and staying consistent. And the material that this band brings is pretty much nothing new. They're not really reinventing the wheel here, but they bring something that's very refreshing and very entertaining to listen to. Uh, pretty much black thrash as it gets, shouted vocals, a lot of high energy riffs, a lot of high energy drumming. This is just a very quick paced release. Very quick witted and it's very fun to listen to. Uh, the first half of this album definitely catches my attention a lot more than the second half does. But I still think that this is relatively solid black thrash and if you're into that sort of thing I highly recommend you check it out. Um, so yeah you have the front of the cover here with the artwork, spine, Von Frost Records logo. This is a Ritual Killer edition. He puts out these Ritual Killer editions that are pretty much his versions of diehards. They come with like patches and uh, color vinyl, color tape, all, all this other stuff. But this is the version I have here. Comes with a canvas patch with the logo. A little sticker here. Very nicely done. I like the color of this tape. This is like an orange um, chrome tinted pro tape. Very wonderfully done here. I like how this um, this uh, tape looks and sounds. Very high quality done with these tape releases. Uh, and uh, you have a J card here. On this other side you have the band members and you have the track listing and credits. 
opposite side you have um, lyrics, live photos. This band is relatively active and uh, they're, they're still kicking and they're still going strong. So if you're into traditional black thrash, definitely check out uh, Pagan Fire. I won't try to pronounce that again because I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll pronounce it wrong. So I apologize for that. One moment. Yeah. We're listening to Incoffination, by the way, so I hope you don't mind a little death doom up in you. Uh, and this last tape is, uh, we're going to move to some traditional black metal here, and probably one of the very best releases to come out in 2016. Um, this is Orchrist with their new album, Catacomb. Uh, yeah. These guys are based out of Italy, and they play a really murky, dark traditional style of black metal. I like the fact that this band doesn't try to be show-offish or over the top. This is straight true to the roots black metal and with Catacomb it is really a sensational album to listen to. I believe this was originally released on vinyl first and this is the tape version put out through Von Frost Records. I mean listen to songs like Divine Sacrifice, Night of Silence, and Destroyer. Seriously incredible black metal songs being done here. I love the vocals. I love the delivery of the instrumentations. It just feels like a genuine black metal record. And I believe that with Catacomb, Orchrist have really delivered something wonderful here. Um, but yeah. Comes on an olive green pro tape here. I really like the design of this tape here. Very old school looking. Of course, this is Dolby Sound. Side A, Side B. I dig this old school approach with the cassette tapes. But uh, you have a J card here. Very professionally done here. Artwork. Band members. Opposite side you have lyrics and credits. And you have this little crazy chick here. I like this little thing at the bottom of the bottom of the thing. It says, we are the freezing wind. We are the freezing storm of evil. We are the sword in the heart of Christ. Yeah, it doesn't get more black metal than that. But yeah, seriously. Check out Orchrist Catacomb. This is some seriously top quality black metal, and I'm glad this got able to be put on a more necro sort of format with cassette tapes. I want to try and get the vinyl sometime too, but we'll see how well that goes. All right, speaking of vinyl, we're going to get onto vinyl next. And these three records all have one interesting benefactor. They're all pretty much done by the same artist, and that artist is Lord Genocide. Uh, I've talked about Lord Genocide's material on the in the past. Of course, you know him best for his work with the band Vociferian, but he is really somewhat of a prolific sort of guy. He doesn't single himself to just one band. He does many, many different music styles. Of course, he does Goat Holocaust. He did. He, he also has Ibaush Noir, which I've reviewed on this channel in the past. And um, he, he really likes to stick his stick his get stick his toes into uncharted waters and it's really really wonderful to know how diverse and eclectic this guy is i have three different releases that span throughout his entire body of work and this first release is a 10 inch record uh this is um conjurator with uh Eero splattered this is the only release put out through eros by by a uh, conjurator and like I said, this is Lord Genocide's project. He goes under the pseudonym Warlock of the Split Hooves. You can definitely tell what type of a project Conjurator is. This, this project has some black metal stuff going for it towards its early beginnings, and then a somewhat transition into speed metal territories with uh, how this sounds. And with uh, Eero Splattered, pretty much for what, it's, for what it accomplishes, it sounds really solid. The main story of this record are the way the vocals are and the way the riffs are being handled. It's really twisted stuff. I like what's being done here. It's just entertaining to listen to. Uh, Nameless Regurgitation Death, uh, Sarcophallus Baphometicon, uh, Perversic Syphilicont. Um, yeah, some crazy song titles to be seen on here, but uh, overall this is just a blast to listen to. This is just something you listen to for the, for the, for the sake of having fun and having a good time. That's what you get with Euro Splattered. But anyway, it's a 10 inch record. You have the front cover. I really like this gold foil embossment here on the front. On the back here, Von Frost Records right there. Really nicely done here. You have a gatefold. There you see the main man behind this project himself. Logo and credits. And uh, this comes on a standard black vinyl, but I like the labeling that they put on here for this record. 
You have side Eros, side splattered. Top quality vinyl here. It sounds great, it plays great, and I like what they did here with this release. I believe there was, there was a limited edition version that had like splatter colored vinyl, um, a belt buckle. I don't know what else came with it, but it was a pretty over the top sort of uh, diehard version. But uh, this is some really entertaining stuff. Go check out Conjurator with Eero Splatter. Continuing on with Lord Genocide projects, we have another project that's pretty notable for those that are into the style of war metal, black or death metal. This is Luger with Kill, Worship, Die. Yeah. Once again, same guy, same, same sort of idea, but this treads into more dirty, nasty war metal. Yeah. Distorted vocals, distorted riffs, Lots of discomforting going on with a release like Kill, Worship, Die. I believe this originally came out in 2005, but I believe this got released in lieu of this celebrating 10 years. This is like a 10th anniversary release. Uh, but yeah, very entertaining stuff. I mean, if you thought um, Conjurator was entertaining stuff, Luger definitely goes a little more over the top here with this release. I mean, it's just straight up not give a fuck sort of attitude going on with Kill Worship Die. Uh, God is dead and I shit on his tomb, uh, Hell Cunt, uh, in, in, uh, Luger Snot, uh, Piss on Law, War and Sodomy. There's even an Impaled Nazarene cover with Total War, Winter War on here, which is very entertaining. But I love the vocals on this release. They are very nasty. I can't tell if they're pitch shifted or if they're, or if they're distorted heavily, but I just like that it adds to that sort of evil raw value of kill worship die which makes it very awesome to listen to but um anyway here's the front cover i like how they redid things for the original album cover here You've got the little luger logo here the spike battle jacket with the helmet going on here you have the back luger side kill side worship once again the von frost logo here you got an insert here i like what this insert says i think i should just frame this it looks really cool uh, Iron Blitz Fuck Commando. <laughs> I fucking love that. Uh, crude Butchery, Black Metal, Occult, and Harsh. Luger Hell Commando. Pretty much all the credits and information are on this release. Seriously badass logo right there. And uh, once again, the vinyl uh, comes on a stand... This is a standard version, standard black vinyl. Um, once again, high quality, very good sound. Side kill, side worship. This really sounds good. And uh, yeah, like I said, this is a label that really does pay attention to sound quality and presentation. And I think they did a really good job with this Luger release. So another, another feather in the cap for Lord Genocide. And the last record I'm going to show you here is... I, got, I can't be talking about all of Lord Genocide's projects without mentioning his main project, which is Vociferian. And this is the brand new Vociferian album. Uh, this is entitled Odora. Yeah. Funny little story. Originally, all of the copies of this record, I believe, were supposed to have a silver bluish sort of uh, deal when it came to the cover and the spot glass. But I'll, some of these came with gold instead, which was an error on the pressing plant, so not the fault of the label or anything like that, but they decided to still sell these. I believe this is limited to 250 copies. I believe this version is around 150 copies, but yeah, anyway. If you've ever heard of Vociferian stuff, it's pretty much traditional raw black metal. Very blasphemous, very controversial in nature, but with Odora, there seems to be a shift change in styles. It's still reminiscent in the realms of black metal, but you can tell that there's a lot more being done here with a release like this. Um, yeah. There's a lot of changes on here, and I think that musically, I think there is a lot of great things to be listened to with a release like this. Very gallant, very triumphant sort of riffs going on here. I like the drumming styles, I like how things are being handled as far as the music is concerned. If I were to have any real one issue with this release, I would honestly have to say that I think the vocals are a little too high in the mix. 
they kind of drown out the instrumentation. I, I like, I, I gotta first of all say though, the vocals on this release are really interesting. They're, it's pretty much an aggressive, throaty sort of growl, but it then almost breaks off into like, like, very, there's a lot of bravado when it comes to the vocal style. There's a, there's almost a verging on singing going on here. I mean, if you're into like later Dark Throne, you would get what I'm talking about here when you listen to the vocals, but I kind of wish they would have turned them down just a tiny little bit so that way it would blend in nicely with the instrumentation. But other than that, I think this is a really solid release and I commend uh, Adrian. I'll just say his real name. His name's Adrian. He, 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 I commend him for wanting to try something different and try something a little unique outside of his comfort zone. Um, but it's only two tracks, two really lengthy songs, uh, Ode Aura and Ode All Rats. Uh, sung in a French language, I believe. Um, yeah, seriously incredible stuff. Uh, this is something worth giving multiple listens to, I would say. Uh, if you really want to get to know Vociferian, check out some of his earlier releases and then get to something like this where you can see that he wants to do a little bit of changing with the styles. And I commend him for wanting to be original and think outside the box. But uh, anyway, yeah. Front cover, gold spot gloss on here. Really, really nice. You have the back here. Track one, track two. Vociferian logo and Von Frost logo right here. Very nice gatefold, more spot gloss on here, and you have the lyrics. Probably something you want to have to do a little translation job to figure out what exactly he's talking about. But there's a really interesting conceptual feeling behind a release like Odora. Uh, very, very intriguing, and uh, it comes on a standard black vinyl, and uh, very interesting sort of labels here. You have Side A, I believe that that's Side A, and this is Side B. Uh, no queue up lines, just two really lengthy songs. And I appreciate the audaciousness of a release like Odora. It's definitely something worth listening to, so go check out Vociferian with Odora. So yeah, I'm gonna leave you links in the description box to all of the bands that I mentioned in this video, and I will also leave you a link to the Von Frost Records web store, where I believe a lot of these titles are still readily available to purchase. Um, if you're into collecting or listening to records or tapes, this is the label for you to check out. And there are a lot of other great releases and titles to check out through Von Frost Records. So this is a label worth checking out and supporting and definitely a label that is true to the roots of the metal underground. So support Von Frost Records. I'm going to conclude this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for checking out my channel. And until the next time, Army Hope out.